Hello everyone, I am Dylan, and yes I am, Dolph the Mingle from One Piece. It's October, baby! We're in costume! Are you wearing costume? You're not? Then get out of here. We have to blow us on love. Oh yeah, love. Ha, nobody can say that I don't know anything about that now. Yeah. I can still hear Tony. Um, that's bull. You have to be a- Oh, the bull spirits really- <laughs> that would certainly upset the bull, but not enough, I'm afraid. Okay, so I have to do something to the sign. Tap a reservoir? Yeah, open that up. Ugh. This brings water to the houses, or with fluid nitrogen, depending on the escape plan. A balloon. It. Nope, this is the day of- just a sec. Tranquilizer on it. No, this calls for handiwork. I have to like move it over. Put it in the windbull's house, probably. Dar her! That's a great idea. All that's missing is a blowpipe and a sufficiently. Alright. Crying? But Wenzel isn't even here! Yeah! Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions. Okay. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. Sweet. Gizmo never understood my philosophy regarding the redistribution of wealth, although it's fairly easy. From everyone else to me. Sounds about right. I blow dart you. <laughs> but no, there are people who deserve that more than him. Oh. What Help are you her. For? Help her. I would love to, but self-professed acquaintances of the patient are constantly interrupting me in my efforts. <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. Self-professed acquaintances. <laughs> Think you can say that a thousand times in a row? Yes. <laughs> Why should I? I could even say get lost a thousand times in a row and you wouldn't get it. Oh. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> you let me Could cut you? you? let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Yes. Can we get you something to drink while you're waiting? Thank you. We could bake a cake for you, too. Ooh. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. You're being sarcastic. I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. No, wait, no, let me go first. Really? Let me go first. Listen, Rufus, a minute ago that was a nice little joke, but now it's half annoying. You're welcome. Half sad. Like me in real life. I'll skid out. Mm. The stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. I'm not. Care. Yeah. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when the uh, <laughs> idiots are quarreling. Yes. Yes. Do you have something that yeah. can give someone a, a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How yeah. often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? No, this is not about simple coffee. I need something really that strong. really, really gets you awake. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo, are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. Okay. What? <laughs> What is happening? Oh boy, this is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Is it? <laughs> hey, wow. You have a pipes? Tanks? A valves? musical instrument thing. It's a, it's a, oh, it's a thing. This is an espresso machine. But this is not <laughs> just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of <laughs> all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. Did and you? you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. Why? What exactly is this 
espresso. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think <laughs> take the recipe. It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm so excited. <laughs> what a squall. Okay. Oh I my gosh. Reviving and energy rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, hmm, none of these things can be found in Cuba. Ah, never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. Man, it's a lot of stuff. Lonzo's been trying his luck as a handyman. Cute. <laughs> I wonder what was behind the curtain. Now I know. Debs. <laughs> yeah, a laid back space. <sighs> I can go with the ball now. Huh? What was that? Oh, the emergency station has opened again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. Yay! What's this? Lever. <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unnoticed. <laughs> I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Handcuffs? I need them with the hook. I'll save my... T what? Let's go with the hook. Asbestos gloves? Yeah, give me those. Fire escape? Fire extinguisher. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter, though. Because I'm always cautious. Right. Boy, how often did people around me carry that thing screaming like babies? Police box. <laughs> it looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. What is this? Foot fetters? What does that mean? Boy, how often... Boy, how often... Since the retirement home sunk into the ground... They don't let me work in the trash mines for community service anymore. Huh, maybe our system of justice is working after all. A lockpick! I've stashed it in there for an emergency. Oh, damn! <laughs> no great in the world can hold me back. It's holding me back! There, it moved while you were blinking. <laughs> The clown amongst the anesthetics. <laughs> Clowns. <laughs> Scapoling. Jolening. Rat? Is it a rat or a pig? All right. So I have a lot of stuff This now. could come in handy with my next amputation. Dr. Gizmo says Wenzel's toe could have been saved with non-corroded tools. Oops, I don't see what this will be good for. I mean, I already have enough holes in my teeth. No! <laughs> okay, that's confusing. I'll do this. I know what I can do it. Toro! Hey, I said... Toro! What, what good is it being the best of matadors if the bull isn't even looking? Yeah. Aw, does that upset you? Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Or whatever liquid it is that's pumping through those tubes. This? <laughs> and today, children, Uncle Rufus will show you how to draw blood from a full-grown bull. And uh, this is one way how... Dang it! Do it. What's your bottom? <laughs> ah, the spikes! One more time.
one more time. Okay, so this is an increase there. What? I what I oh that was the right thing to do. I just hit I put the thing in there, went up, went down, and then it gave me the handcuffs. Handcuffs. For what? The crime rate has risen significantly over the past few years. Since round about my 18th birthday, luckily there's been almost no juvenile delinquents since then. Good. I'm glad. Ah! <laughs> Alright, we'll pause it here. We got some things in this one. We got a bunch of stuff. So many things. Black powder, beans. Clean water. Energy rich water. The recipe water? says something. I don't know. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching. I will see you eventually.